If you thought the heat wave that lasted about two weeks in late August, early September was record breaking, you'd be right. In this Earth 8 report, meteorologist Sean Stiles talked to the National Weather Service to see just how many new records were set during that late summer swelter. If you were in Southern California last week or the week before and witnessed that historic heat wave, you would be right in saying it's once in a lifetime. But in actuality, it's part of a trend that's been building for the past decade. Six of the last 10 years have been the hottest on record, not just summer, but all year. 2014, 2015 are the benchmark years for San Diego year round. Alex Tardy is a meteorologist with the National Weather California. Service and explained how the heat wave became record breaking. In late August, starting really August 27th, 28th, we were looking at the potential for a one week long heat wave. Um, it turned into almost two weeks long. Uh, this heat wave is expansive, long lasting, and completely encompassing much of the state. And that oppressive heat covered a much larger area than just San Diego. So not only just Southern California, a heat wave across California, Nevada, Utah, that extended almost two weeks, almost 14 days. The forecast models had temperatures being five to 10 degrees above average, but instead they jumped 15 as much as 20 degrees above average. We just didn't know at the time in late August that it would last so long and end up being one of the hottest heat waves in California uh, in history. Part of what sustained the heat wave was the leftover monsoon moisture and overnight lows staying in the 70s and in some cases the 80s. It all combined to being a significant heat wave in a lot of cases ranked one and two when you look at a two week period. Even the coast wasn't spared where temperatures were in the mid to upper 90s and this heat wasn't driven by Santa Ana winds. And there's the Great Basin, the high pressure expanse, and but by a dome of high pressure over the entire west. In Salt Lake City, in Sacramento, exceeded all time highs. For, for example, uh, Salt Lake City reached 107. They'd never reached 107 in September. Uh, Sacramento reached 115. They never reached 115 in, in September. I know it's hard to believe, but San Diego could have been even hotter. We were on the edge of it. We weren't in the epicenter. The epicenter was Sacramento to Salt Lake. And with a third year of La Nina emerging, the dome of high pressure could return. This is looking like, you know, a, a pattern that doesn't generally want to break down and it's affecting us in the winter and it's affecting us in the summer with heat waves like we just went through. And after over 10 days of an excessive heat warning across much of California, if you can imagine this, it took a tropical storm, another historic event coming within 100 miles of San Diego to finally put an end to it. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.